Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy where we right now will of course go on with the main campaign chapter 5 the Arthur Pariah where we hopefully now can enter the stasis chamber what I actually hope we could do in the last episode which did not work out all right the great unclean one and with that mission description we can safely guess what kind of bigger demon we are going to face i've cut through hordes of nightmarish warp aberrations to open aberrations to open the stasis chamber of the other pariah this ancient saga of hubris deception and suffering will end soon for better or worse the moment of reckoning is upon me the Emperor protects. Talk to me, Pagos. What do I have to do to wake up the Alpha Pariah from stasis? My understanding is that the stasis pods are stored in a colossal shaft. You must activate the retrieval mechanism at the cogitator first. I'll guide you through the rest after that. But there is something else. What is it? In loaded schematics, place a room near you as Uther's meditational chamber. I will take a look at it first. Uther's experiments, the mysterious origins of the pariah, the prophecy. I have bad feelings about this. I need more information. Okay, first things first, the corpse. The testament of Uther Tiberius. As I stare into the end endless tide, there can be no doubt in my heart. We are trapped in a hopeless struggle against powers that cannot be defeated. Not on their own terms. The Holy Emperor, in his endless wisdom, knew this and his last unfinished word could be saved us from the horrors of the last millennia. But the treasury of horrors and the ill-fated arrogance of madness robbed mankind and we have been bound to suffer as we struggle blindly in a ruthless galaxy succumbing to the tides of darkness we cannot deny the terrible truth even if it burns our heart the holy emperor trapped in his dreamless sleep will not save us we must create the ways of our own celebration the material is nothing but a mirror of the ma ma material universe at last it was meant to be the runer's powers are simply symptom of a corruption rooted in the abysmal death we must understand the materium bend the powers of the warp to our will and finally reshape the otherworldly realms in our own image this must be the fate and salvation of mankind shall we fail our defeat will be oh okay i thought i was messing up again eternal and the whole galaxy would with our ambitious nature and the cursed gift in our genome, mankind, mankind has a chance to fulfill the prophecy with a god emperor ruling in our world and a god empress reigning beyond. Just, their mere, just the mere thought of such an endless empire makes my soul quiver with joy. What lies in this chamber may be our salvation, salvation or our end. After all the hardships I faced, all all the um, pacts I um, I made and all the suffering I caused to reach this point, I realize that I'm unable to take the final steps. Perhaps you, the reader of my testament, will be stronger. May the Emperor protect us. Did you find anything interesting, Inquisitor? That would be an understatement. I wish we could discuss that without it leading to an immediate mind wipe. Wise thinking. I'm on my way to the cogitator. All right, then let's go there and see I'm what is the happening. Our serfs digested the data pulp from the Uther's cogitators, and we have the registry number for the pod. I will call it up immediately. And then? The pod will be transferred to the Chamber of Awakenings. How long will all that take? The servitors will start the necessary protocols. They also provide clothes and rejuvenating tinctures for the subject. It will take some time, though. I don't really have much time, Magos. It is true. The readings from the stasis chamber are extremely disturbing. The fluctuation of warp energies indicates a greater manifestation. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so she is, so to, so to say, out of stasis. That is good. And now we only have to do one small feat, and that is destroy a great unclean one. Well, a very Emperor, easy task. Grant me strength during my greatest battle. The seals are throbbing with sheer warp energy. What is happening? The Alpha Pariah is real, and she is in danger. I'm on my way back to you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A great unclean one. I s remember that and I still am a little bit sad that in the end there was only one fight a great against a greater demon. Um, there could have been so many as well against, for example, of course, against um, corn greater demons. This is a little bit sad, but well, fair enough. We need to accept that. Okay, this one is down. Let's take the second one down as well so no new enemies are being teleported in by those ugly postules okay his belts are especially when he's um, doing the move to the ground with his sword obviously very 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 uh, uh, um, powerful spell to the ground Come on. So let's try to focus on him now. Dealing a lot of damage, although as you can see he of course has a lot of HP. And therefore we need to be a teensy a little bit careful. I think once when we are at a point where we uh, lose all or the first time we really die and use uh, lose all of our will be the point when we technically uh, lose all of our inoculator. That will be our certain death. Okay, good, 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 good. Ah, still, ah, okay, I thought all of them were dead. Okay. Messed up a little tinsy bit there. Of course, facing three of those rogue Primaris Psychas is a little bit insane, to say the least. Okay, now we have finally... Okay, I shouldn't stay so close to him. The good part is we have him down to nearly a hundred thousand HP. That is quite good, but by now not good enough technically. Okay, of course it will hurt once we get some... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Good, good, good. Always keep moving, I guess. So what is he going to summon in next? Okay, that did work out quite well. Okay, I'm a little bit overheated. That obviously is not good. Once these guys are down, that is going to be good for us. And now focus, focus, focus. I am really curious whether there are whether he's going to summon in some psychers again. That I don't hope because they were quite hard to kill. Okay, down to nearly seven under uh, seventy thousand HP. That is of course very very good. And now the second stage is obviously coming up. And we get some help. Ain't that nice coming at the right moment, I think. Okay, let me do something. And try to destroy these postures. So there might be so no new enemies are constantly being summoned in. And I don't even see any attacks coming from the Alpha Pariah. I'm wondering if she's really attacking 
this bad boy. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, she obviously is attacking at least a tinsy a little bit. Okay, this one is down. That is very, very amazing for us. Okay, down to 60,000. Neat. Brought it down to under 50. That is very, very amazing. Okay, out of the way there. Then let's concentrate on the Blight Bearers once these guys are down. That is going to be very helpful. Okay. Now we are in one good spot, I think. Once we are at least not overheated anymore. Okay, and she is bloody powerful. Nice. Since she's a pariah, I think shouldn't the demons here not feel so good? Or is it only psychers around her? Then at least we should not feel very, very good around her. So down to one inoculator, but as it is currently going, I think we will make it with no real trouble. And those guys who are regenerating him, I of course want to actually instantly be ki uh, killed, but obviously that did not work out as fast as I wanted. Okay, now it is now we are down to one uh, to zero inoculators, which of course is not going to help out a lot. No, focus, focus, focus. Hopefully he's not getting up with the uh, um, reborn uh, uh, warlocks again to regenerate his life. But I think we made it now. Under nearly under 5,000 HP right now, and under a thousand. Nice, that is done. And banished back to the warp, the great unclean one she has is. The greater demon. Inquisitor, the demon wasn't just banished. Its unholy essence has been utterly absorbed. Ah, oh, okay. Unable to be reborn, not even in the Immaterium. Are you certain about that? The readings are conclusive. This changes everything, Inquisitor. I need time to evaluate the implications. And with the greater demon gone, a part of a chaos god has been destroyed forever. Soon, she will be the most sought after individual in the galaxy oh yeah and a lot of items which i will go through in the off i promise and now we can talk to the alpha pariah who are you where am i i am an inquisitor of the holy orders but you you are a marvel and an anathema to me do you even know who you are i i don't know i i don't remember did I just kill this creature? You fill me with dread. And still, I can sense the sheer power emanating from you. You are truly the weapon we need. I've been looking for you, you know. I can sense the power in me, but I can't control it. What is happening to me? You are in pain because you have just begun your transformation. You must embrace your suffering and use it as an instrument. Why are you walking so slow? But this is just some storytelling. I honest, what the hell? Gloucester Hive, 
What are you doing with her? Accept my apologies, my mentor. We all have our roles to play, and you have fulfilled your destiny. Now she needs my protection. Open that door now. Don't you see that there is no one you can trust? Puritans or radicals, they are nothing but babbling fools. They would kill her, or lock her away without using her powers for the Imperium. This is heresy. This is what Uther Tiberius wanted. I will protect her until she can fulfill her true potential. Trust me. The day will come when she leads our glorious armies into the warp. You have no power over this ship. Quite the contrary. While you were away, I convinced the machine's spirit that it was for this exact turn of events that Uther created it. You will die out there. I'm ready for the sacrifice it takes. The Emperor protects, Inquisitor. Now you should leave. Tech Priest, I want a location for Klosterheim immediately. Time is running out. The Inquisitor has gained access to the navigational systems. The Martyr has turned on the warp engines. Gala shields are still compromised. I don't care. There is a 78.3% chance that warp travel will kill you. Then we will all die. Collated data indicates that the proximity of the Alpha subject could protect the Inquisitor. It won't protect you. Curses be upon you, Klosterheim. Alright, and that may be... Yes, that was the mission. But guys, I don't know whether a animation is going to come up. Let us quickly go through the loading screen and then we see if there's going to be a animation behind... Okay, no. But guys, that right now brings us nearly to the end, but the things in towards. I have discovered that Uther Tiberius created an entire network of Imperium seals to power the defenses of the Martyr, the most important of which is the psychic barrier protecting the stasis chamber of the Alpha Pariah. The Prime Seal contained a greater demon and prevented it from reforming in the warp. Still, it was able to exert a dark influence on board, turning the entire monastery into a nest of Nurgle. After the Blake Marines destroyed almost the, all the Imperium seals, the network couldn't resist the opening of the barrier and the Prime Seals was destroyed, releasing the, great un releasing the Great Unkling One. With the power vested upon me, I eliminated the Colossal Abomination, although it was the Alpha per per oh my goodness, Alpha Pariah who destroyed it for good. Okay, that right now, guys, leads us quickly to the next, uh, to the end of this episode. In the next one, we are going to talk to Ragnar and Winter and go on. But for now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please, guys, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.